The host course for the American Express Golf Tournament is getting an update this summer. News Channel 3 sports reporter Kenji Ito gives us a look tonight at the work happening out at the Pete Dye Stadium course at PGA West to make sure it's ready to shine in January. About six months ago here at PGA West, a moment was added to the history books. That's right, Nick Dunlap accomplished a major feat, becoming the first amateur to win on tour since 1991. But that wasn't the only major thing that has happened this year at PGA West. When the stadium course was built in 1986, it was the most difficult and most renowned golf course in the world. And over the years, golf courses uh, change. So really, this is a course restoration back to what some say are his greatest golf course ever that he ever designed. As the Pete Dye Stadium restoration project will be completed this fall, the modifications will impact the golfers. They're going to see dramatic uh, bunkers. Uh, we have, you know, over the years, the bunkers have kind of melted away. And so we're able to take those back uh, and make a traditional bunker with a, with a flat bottom and grass sides, and they become very visually uh, intimidating. These new changes will not only impact the members, but also the pros come Sunday of the Amex. The bigger Greens are going to allow us to have uh, more hole locations, especially on the Sunday when it's just the pros playing. We're going to be able to tuck those uh, pins near the bunkers, near lakes, and really make the golf course more difficult and challenging for the golf professionals on that final Sunday round. With six sets of greens remodeled at PGA West, the western home of golf in America has a lot in store. Coming up in the future, we're going to continue to reinvest in our golf courses, making them better, and just continue to elevate this entire property. In La Quinta, Kenji Ito, News Channel 3.